Whenever my great-grandfather died, he left me a lot of tools. I bet he probably left me about eight or nine saws, but I can't tell for sure because it's all kind of lost in my little shed, which doesn't have any climate control and water leaks in there and it's, I haven't had the space nor the motivation to properly maintain my tools. And that needs to change because I'm finally building a nice big like air conditioned workshop and so now I'll finally have space to keep tools nice because up until now if I cleaned a tool up it would rust up in like a week because Illinois is so humid and so it wasn't really that much motivation to clean them but building a new workshop is not just building a building it's also building the tools so from now on I'm going to, have to do more maintenance and keep my tools in nice condition so I'm at my friend's workshop, so let's use his sandblaster and clean this up. Looks like there's some lettering on here and on there, so maybe that'll show up. I don't think these are too old, but they look like very nice ones. And once we have that cleaned up, we can sharpen it, which these are crosscut saws, so that should be like every other one that way and then every other one that way or whichever. I don't know, I never sharpened one of these saws before. He left me so many saws that I didn't have to sharpen any ones. I would just grab the next one for the longest time. And then someday in the future I can work on fixing that. Maybe making a new handle for it, like out, out of actually nice wood. But I do like this saw. It actually is pretty sturdy. So, let's fire up the sandblaster and see what we get. So here we have sandblasted, zinc plated, and then zinc plated and polished. I'm not sure if that polishing removed the plating, but only one way to find out. The WD-40 should give me about six months or more of no rust, so that's good. I should have my workshop built by then. I don't trust my zinc electroplating method enough to electroplate this just yet. I imagine the coating would come off looking very, very poor if I did. So I figure probably sometime next year or later this year I can come back to this and hopefully get a zinc plating, a zinc coating with a very nice like shiny finish. At least I think that'd be pretty cool. So these three will just be sandblasted with WD-40 on them. And this will be the galvanized, then galvanized with polishing, so. So you know, it's probably just galvanized and then I ripped the galvanization off, but we'll find out. If that one rusts up before that one, then we know that polishing ripped off the, the zinc. Definitely is a different color though, so I think some of the zinc is still on that. I just polished the surface of it.
So now I'm going to test the current sharpness of these by sawing for one minute. Nah, yeah, fuck it. 20 seconds is good enough. It's a very weird angle. It's not a very good table for this. So I've never done this before, but it seems like this is working. So these teeth alternate like that. So, the odd teeth I'll have to go in like so. Of course, we'll flip it around, but. It's very mechanically cut. It looks like it's. In the, it doesn't actually like turn like that. It looks like no one's ever actually sharpened this before. That's odd. I'm having to cut it so I can sharpen it. But now when I'm doing this, I, I skip a tooth. Now if I had some wood, I would sandwich this with some wood around it, but I don't happen to have any on hand, so this will be good enough for now. But that seems to be doing a good job. I mean, only the final test will actually tell, though. problem of getting stuck and the delay it still went further so I'm very happy with that very very happy and that's how the teeth ended up looking but offset uh, I don't know about that I don't know about that that's gonna be pretty front heavy but whatever So I'm moving back and forth. This is not going to work for me. Oh, weird. Just hit like a harmonic area right there where the entire thing vibrates at like a almost audible frequency. That's weird. I mean, I guess it is like a big tuning fork that I'm dealing with.
better. I'm pretty happy with that. That's a pretty good improvement from that. And that improved to that. So, yeah, it's pretty good. And plus, it didn't seem to get stuck as much. And that's pretty much it. I think it's a pretty good amount of work for one night. And it'll definitely help me be more efficient whenever I'm cutting the beams and whatnot for my new workshop. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. I didn't realize it, but I guess I'm building this thing entirely with hand tools. So, I don't know. Might as well keep that up. I'm just not a fan of power tools. Power tools, like this circular saw over here, they're just so loud and scary and... Well, okay, I mean, like, I'm not terrified of them too much, but I am... I respect them. And I know that they could kill me at any moment if I fuck up. Whereas this, it's very, it's very difficult to kill yourself with this. And plus, it's just more enjoyable. Having a loud racket going on where it's hurting your ears and whatnot, it's just, it's not fun. But I'd rather get, like, hot and sweaty and have, like, a bad time that way sawing just so I don't have to worry about, like, the sound and whatnot. Maybe I'm just irritable with sound, but I don't know. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you very much for watching. See ya!